Creative Stamping. Today I'm going to share with you another new release. It's a brand new stamp set for celebration. It's entitled Reverse Words and it looks like this. And so it has a bit of a watercolor or washi background. And it has two um, stamp sets in the set. And one is entitled Hooray, and the other one is entitled Cheers. This is what the reverse word stamp set looks like once you stamp it on Whisper White cardstock. This is the Sweet Sugar Plum, and I've even added a strip of the Sweet Sugar Plum Glimmer paper at the bottom. And this one is stamped in Bermuda Bay. And again, I've used the Bermuda Bay Glimmer paper strip just to give it a touch of more color. Here's the third card that I've made using this new stamp set, and I'm going to show you how you can recreate this. First of all, a few supplies. Of course, we're going to use reverse words, and we're going to use cheers, but you could certainly use um, hooray if you would like. And for these little embellishments right here and along the bottom, we're going to use the Flourish Thinlet set. And we're using this little piece here, which is right here and here. We're going to use this piece right here, which goes right here there and then this little strip of um, gold foil right across the bottom of the card is right here. Now when you cut out all of these shapes in this thinlet set this is what they look like. So just in case you haven't seen this you'll definitely know what they look like now. We're going to use a technique today for creating our card using some baby wipes. And so I am going to grab the baby wipes that I've been using today. By the way, this is just the back of a box. I didn't want my ink to seep through to my countertop, and so I just have this on a box, okay? Let me show you the three ink colors that we are going to use today. The first one is Daffodil Delight, and I made this earlier today, and I'm just gonna go right back over it again. Of course, my card is gonna look different this time, just as yours will. It just depends on how many drops you use and where you place them. So this is Daffodil Delight, and this one is Flirty Flamingo. This is gonna also be our card base. So I'm just gonna drop some color there. And our third ink refill is going to be pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to add some color along here. I probably have, let me see if I can count the baby wipes for you. I actually don't have that many. I'd say three or four, but you may want to use five just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we're now ready to do our stamping, and we're going to put it on this Whisper White sheet of cardstock, and it measures, whoops, sorry about the noise, it measures uh, three and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches, okay? So this is the top layer, and I'm going to take the Cheers stamp, and I am just going to ink it. I'm gonna turn it over so you can kind of maybe see the ink that's on it. All right, I'm just gonna move that out of the way, and then I'm gonna stamp cheers about right here. So I've got the entire word on the um, sheet of cardstock. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. And again, this is called the baby white technique, I believe, because you're using baby wipes. All right, I'm putting cheers there, and I'm going to do one more, so I will bring it back in. As you can see, you'll be able to use these wipes for several cards, not just one. And then I'm going to put one about right there, okay? 
So I'm loving the colors and how they're going together. You're gonna also notice a bit of a difference in my two samples. So yours is going to also look different. It's just gonna depend on your ink drops, where they're placed, and how they mix together on the baby wipe. All right, so we're gonna start with this flirty flamingo card base. And this is just a standard card base. Glad I opened it or I would have been stamping on the wrong side. And so this is um, five and a half inches by 11 inches. And then we fold that in half. I've already taken the time to clean um, this stamp because we had just used it. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring in some flirty flamingo ink and I'm just gonna ink it up and I'm actually gonna stamp off. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, the stamped image on the card stock, okay? Again, I'm gonna stamp off. This time, I think I wanna use this area of the stamp. I'm trying to get the background of the stamp, but not the words, okay? And this idea actually came from Stampin' Up! And I'll show you the picture. I've gotten a little line there, but I'm going to be okay because I think my white cardstock is going to cover that up. So let's put this back on here. And yes, it will. But as you can see, I'm giving it a little bit of a background. And I'll show you in the brochure. It's very hard to see, but this is stamped on, I believe, pumpkin pie, and you can see a little bit of that background there. We're actually ready to assemble our card. I've already taken the time to cut out all the little pieces and parts that we're going to need. I am going to take the snail, and I'm gonna run it across the bottom right there. And by doing that, I can actually Go ahead and center this and adhere that foil to that, okay? And then I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm just going to trim off the sides that extend beyond the Whisper White cardstock, okay? Now I'm actually ready to pop this up and put it on the card base. So as you can see, this is a very um, quick and easy card to make once all your pieces are cut. And you can see where I am putting the dimensionals. And now I'm going to peel them off. Just like this. Okay. And now I'm going to be ready to attach this to my card base. And I think this will work. Okay, so now I have um, these two pieces that I wanna attach together. And I'm just going to use a glue dot to do that because the pearl is actually going to cover this up, okay? Another glue dot. All right, and I'm gonna stick it about right there. And I can even lift that up a little bit. And I'll go ahead and put the pearl right there in the center. Now there is one little thing that I forgot, okay? If you notice on the original card, the word cheers, the negative piece of the, the stamped image, is popped up. So I took some scrap whisper white paper and stamped an additional cheers. And then I actually cut out and cut around the word, okay? So I've already taken that time to do it here and you're going to, um, you can tell that I flipped it over. Um, we're going to put some dimensionals here on the back and we are going to pop up the word cheers. Okay, I've taken the time to put the dimensionals on. I did not do the entire word. I just did um, just like every other letter, 
something like that, anything to get it to pop up. And then I am going to layer this right over this, okay? So that last word is popped up. All right, so a couple more little uh, flower pieces and we're going to be ready to finish up our card. I had to find them. Okay, so I'm gonna take this glue dot and yes, it is a little big for this flower. I'm gonna kind of scrunch it up a little bit and I'm gonna put it about right there. And I'm gonna also take another one, take a glue dot and see if I can get it to catch on. Just like that. Scrunch up the little glue dot a little bit. All right. And then I'm gonna add these tiny little pearls here to the tops of these flowers, okay? And I'll put it right there. By the way, on the basic pearls, this line of pearls here, here, and here, they're connected together with adhesive. So when you only need one, you just need to cut between them to get the pearl off, okay? All right, I think we have it. Let me know if you have any questions. This stamp set is available during celebration when you make a $50 purchase. So head on over to my online store. You can also head on over to my blog for a picture of this card and a supply list. So thanks so much for buzzing by. I'll be your shade tree, you be my honeysuckle, I'll be your honeybee.